Hello, my name is Luis and welcome to Porto, the largest city in the northern part of Portugal and the hometown of Platform E. Platform E was born here in Porto, not only because of its people, nature, cosmopolitan atmosphere and amazing architecture, but also because of the city's talent pool of amazing professionals and for the city being a hub to the most important textile manufacturing place here in Europe. The number one problem of fashion is dealing with stock, dealing with inventory and overproduction, the end of season stock. This is a tremendous challenge. And here at Platform E, our mission is to drastically reduce overproduction, excessive production. And how do we do this? We do this by focusing on three key pillars. The first one being what we call e-fashion, we want to coin the term e-fashion, so the capacity to utilize digital assets and tools, not to produce physical samples, not to produce excessive inventory. Pillar number two, how do we integrate e-fashion, digital fashion into the point of sale? How do we show and sell? And the third pillar is how do we optimize the production process so we have less and less excessive production and a better balance of the production and demand. In this three-way capacity, the last pillar connecting to uh, the factory is absolutely key. There is something that is super important, which is reducing the information's lead time to zero. In other words, having the real-time connectivity to the factory. The ultimate goal is to produce exclusively what the client will consume. And if we are producing made-to-order on demand, we can inclusively offer things like personalization and customization. So this capacity to be connected, supply chain to the end consumer, it's absolutely key. And this is precisely the reason why for us it's so strategic to be in the north of Portugal, precisely to have the connection to those factories. And this third pillar, it's absolutely critical to accomplish the mission and again connecting on a very smart way product, point of sale, point of production. The 3D process starts usually by the creation of the mesh of the product that we want to uh, make a digital copy. Um, the way we build the mesh is by sculpting and modeling, which it's exactly like sculpting a modeling in clay. The difference is we, we use digital tools to do it. But once we have this mesh done, we can use it with several materials, several lights, and we can start building what it looks like a realistic product. After the, the modeling, we need to create the base for the textures, which is the creation of the UV maps that we, we apply to the different parts of the, the shoe in this case. And also think about all the, the materials and how they reflect the light, how their properties work. And we use all the samples that usually the brand gives to us, all the, the variations of colors. We can study them and, and then try to reply it on, on the computer. Once all these parts are built, we can um, make a render, which is the way that the computer has to process the image. And those images will be shown as um, part of the customization where people can play with, the, with the, the, the product, they can choose whatever they want to see in it, uh, if they want yellow, blue or any other type of, of different uh, material. The software that we have uh, at the moment, we can uh, use our 3D models to any event, any virtual event that we have the need to. Uh, we can dress an avatar and we can make it with all the variations that we can use uh, in, a, in a product, uh, either a dress or a jacket or a bag or a shoe. 
Uh, once the, the digital mesh is created, uh, we can play with it in any way, any material, anything that we want to show, we can show it virtually and we can show it to all the other people that are at the event. So basically at Platformy, we use technology as the key to unlock premium customization experience and also what we call the e-fashion. One of the very important things that pandemic showed us was the fact that clients are shifting for e-commerce and they are looking for premium experience. Nowadays, clients are willing to pay more for a customized and unique product. They want a premium experience to do that. So what we do is provide that premium experience for the clients where they have the possibility to uh, create a special item specially designed for them and see how it look like in real time. In other hand, we create a value proposition that it is very important for the brands, um, which is reduce overstock and reduce overproduction. Let's assume that every time that a new collection is launched, uh, in fact, uh, we need to produce, uh, for example, 10 different colors, 10 different combinations for a single t-shirt. It means that we need to produce a lot. It means that we are actually spending a lot of resources. So the creation of a digital item instead of a physical item represents a lot of savings in terms of resources and it doesn't reduce the quality of the customer experience online. Nowadays, customization is a reality. Housespring believes that this business model is a strategy for the future industry. It's the way to become more sustainable, reduce the impact of the stock items, research, and have a better understanding and satisfaction of the customers. Our goal is scaling clients to be competitive and offers a win-win situation for all. Platform e technology gives you visibility of the whole manufacturing process. Each morning, we gather all the information from the new orders here directly on the shop floor, where the materials for the new orders will be gathered and picked, and they will go through the process, including the manufacturing line, and at the end, we will ship it directly to the end consumer. The lead time of the whole process since the client orders his pair of shoes until he receives it at home is today 14 days. Our goal for next year is to achieve 7 days lead time. Innovative technologies available today can help prevent textile waste on a massive scale and start finally acceleration fashion towards more sustainable practices. With the help of technology, fashion brands can finally start creating solutions and products that are good for people, for their businesses and for the planet. <music>